Antonio Lyons signing in, also known as The Animal. As you can see right now, I'm just repping my HBCU, which is the Shaw University, the mother of all HBCUs in the South. But uh, don't mind me. I'm just a two-time, two-time CIAA football champion. And today's topic is the top five things to do at an HBCU mm. homecoming. Let's get ready. And we going to start things off with number five. Go to the yard, a.k.a. the campus. Make sure you looking good, you smelling good, and you got on some nice kicks because you about to run into some of your old classmates and y'all going to be politicking, talking about good things from the past that y'all used to do to what you up to now. And it's just going to be a good time. You go run into the alarm. They go school you a little bit. They go tell you about what it was like when they was here. So you go get a good chance with them. And you go see the current students now. You go get a chance to, you know, be the OG. Tell them about, you know, what it was like when you was here. And what made the campus so good, it be unknown events happening. So when you up there, sometimes you won't even know. But the banner that happened to come out, and they boom, boom. Boom, like playing the music. Sometimes we even see fraternities and sororities come out doing their thing. So I think that's a good place to be, the campus. And number four, I'm about to say the homecoming parade. The homecoming parade is great for the community. And the homecoming parade, you get a chance to see businesses in the community. You get to see the people on campus in the parade from your homecoming king, your homecoming queen, some of the faculty. You will see them driving around in the nice cars and all that. You will see like the flag girls, they be putting on the show. Even some of like the little league pop Warner teams be out there or like the little drum major, the dancing people from Little League, they be out there so it just be a good time and you get to see like the vendors, they be ripping real hard and having school apparel, everybody be in a good vibe so definitely make sure you go to the school parade. And number three is the homecoming concert. Nobody do homecoming concerts like HBCUs. And I'm telling you, for certain HBCUs, they homecoming lineup be stacked. It be like a Super Bowl of performers, rappers. Like, it be so dope. Like, you'll get to see the current hottest people. Like, you could run up and probably see The Baby, Lil Baby, Roddy Rich. Young Thug, like Meg the Stallion. It just be so many people you can see. Even sometimes they do flashbacks and have the old school people there. So it'd be a great time. Make sure you're ready to come in there and sing, rap, and do your thing. You might lose your voice before that concert out, but you gonna have a lot of fun at the concert. I can guarantee you that. And number two. It's the homecoming game. And with the homecoming game, it's a lot of events rolled up into one. So with the homecoming game, you go run into alum, current students, and you go run into, like, the parents of people in the band, the football team. So it's going to be live and jumping, but I'm going to tell you what you got to do. If you out there, make sure you're friends with people in fraternities, sororities, and clubs because they going to be the key before you before getting the game festivity. So if you want to eat good, definitely get up with them because like they be having hot dogs on the grill, hamburgers, steak, shrimp, and they be having good drinks. So make sure you eat good and get up with them and fellowship and politic like mad. That'd be a good way. Then you make your way into the game. You be in there having a good time. More than likely, if your team lucky on the homecoming day, y'all blowing them out. And you look in the crowd, it's just deep. You seeing people everywhere. You seeing the crowd just hype live. Like when y'all making a touchdown, like the homecoming game, usually the most live game of the season. But this is the best part of the homecoming game. This is the best part of the homecoming game. It's halftime. 
And you can see I played football, but a lot of people tell me the halftime show is still a show because you be having the major rats out there to ban people, and nobody do a halftime like HBCUs. Like, they be dancing to the latest music. Like, you'll see, like, big lines of people. Like, I get them their props because I know a lot of time and work and talent went into being able to throw these things in the air, catch them, the girls dance, and all these people being in sync. Like, that just be so crazy just to be able to see that. And number one, that's the homecoming party. So after the game, usually later that night, it's a homecoming party. And for a lot of people, usually this is the last event they attend. So you already know, make sure you throw on your best fit this night. Make sure you're looking good, you're smelling good, be ready to dance, you know, be up there with the friends that you have a good time with, and y'all gonna throw down like it was a 99 and 2000, so make sure you're ready to do your thing, some of y'all might be a VIP because I know y'all alum now, so y'all balling, so y'all ready to, you know, Show, show your status a little bit and you know y'all gonna be dancing off those calories from the tailgate with the you know fraternities sororities in the club so you gonna be in there make sure you know make some connections because you know sometimes we get so busy with life so make sure you talk to your people make sure you add them on Facebook Instagram if you haven't getting their numbers and keeping in contact because that homecoming it really go down but those was my top five events for homecoming let me know below in the comments what's your top five things to do at an HBCU homecoming and if you went to an HBCU rep it in the comments below peace